excellent daddy you are excellent jehovah you are excellent daddy daddy i love you you are excellent daddy you are excellent jehovah you are excellent daddy daddy i love you oh you are excellent daddy you are excellent jehovah you are excellent daddy Oh, <laughs> 
a clap of it unto the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Please shall we take our seats. Indeed, the God of miracle is our Father. The God of healing is our Father. The God that changed destiny, He is our Father. Amen. There is a thanks given by Sister Jigodi. If you want to thank the Lord, come and bless the name of the Lord with your thanksgiving. God, by this time you will much. Now, so me that radia say, yet also me that your pastor says, Pa, but so patch up, pa, or be a word them her. Who call go to jump on pie, my pastor? Because a radi dinner, papa, papa, be a my so share yes, so on my. Nasa ma I bet to me dini a cosro into Miss Robi I'll call go to Jim Bompire man of Papa. Miss Sada Penny for Massy, a sorry pony for brothers. Ma, young cup or shall only Ukuno. Sir David, young cup on shramo. Black one me bray lige and me da obiasi. Obi a temin can bompire mammy. Me da obi biasi. Enoch, Yami Shawai, Yami Mau Quantin Tiwati. An opoe, meet me, Miss Tatia, meaning baby, and be quack or winty. You can send me two, you know, me that radius. Hallelujah. But you'll be a boy, me, I mean that radius. Because I'm a joe, me, him send me to me about her. Send me what a tremor pin. I'll come me, me, chief, why, Missionia, why am I me? Those who be sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, what cheerful. I didn't so to Clap of it unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, the Lord has been so good to our mother, and we thank God for her life. Amen. We have some Thanksgiving notes here. I thank the Lord for adding one year to my years and seeing me enter university. May his name be glorified. This is from Kapeto Maudem Joshua. Hallelujah. And have an envelope unto the Lord. This is also from Brahmosis. Nyamadi. Nyamadi. Brahmosis. Nyamadi. I made a vow to God and placed a request before him. My request has been granted by God. And here I redeem my vow. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Rahel, you want to sing one song, a short song? If you prolong it, I will step in. Amen. 
to the glory of God. Amen. 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 We all believe that the death and the resurrection of God have brought us a lot. Even with that, it is enough for us to say that it is well. Amen. So I want all of us to sing this song. Semi wo, semi wo meni nara. Ne semi she me kwa mashia dini na. Semi wo yeswa me wa dini na osme bo. Five zero, oh, happy day. Oh, 
Jesus, God is good. We thank the Lord for this hour. If you look at the situation we find ourselves, I should tell you that, look, we better escape this mark of the beast 
tribulation period and go up there. Because the restrictions that are coming on human beings, you cannot stand it. Because they can come out with any loss and even coming here will be a problem. Amen. Amen. I thank God that I'm in the pulpit today. And I thank our pastor for the support that he has given me nah. since the time I fell sick. It was really an attack from the enemy, but nah. by God's grace, we are more than conquerors. One day, myself and my wife were all admitted at the hospital. Yesterday, we were preparing for him. He has lost a brother, and we were preparing for the funeral the following day to travel to Kumasi. And we have to be admitted at the hospital. We have to be compared to discharges the following day to go and come. Then when I came back, we have to readmit me at the hospital. But brother, in all this. The Lord's hand was upon us. And by His grace, we are what we are today. I believe we've been enjoying the past two days' services. We are the eagles. An eagles. Endure hardness. No matter what we go through, eagles must say through. There's a song I wanted to sing. Because we don't have much time. Let's turn to 326. Let's We are heirs of the kingdom. We are joint heirs of Christ. Thank you. 
of his holiness yes we are highest of God and joint highest with Jesus we don't behave like people who don't know what they are doing it was the prophet who said the day the bride will know who she is the rapture will take place we have allowed the devil to cheat us so much. During the revolution, we were singing, we no go sit down, we don't cheat us. But we have, been, we have been sitting down for the devil to teach us, cheat us all these years. Emra so jaban for no shas yen wamu si yen tnasi em wamu si si ya debi ada. Then so Christopher ya tnasi ma bron sama si si esa. Amen. Amen. As we keep standing, shall we turn our scriptures to Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Just for a background, let's start from 27 to and then we now, end up at 28. 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Amen. 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 This is pointing us to something. The coming of the Son of Man. Then he continues, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Ready shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we give you the glory and praise for your goodness and mercies upon us for the past three days. Lord, that have dealt with us, that have given us thy word. This morning we have come, O oh Lord, before thy presence and before thy throne of mercy. The Lord, whatsoever we have heard and you are going to hear, will be so much implanted into our hearts that we will live lives worthy of eagles the Lord has or oh, use as illustration for us. Let the power of God overshadow us. This hour, we are praying, oh Lord, that you take over the atmosphere. Any evil forces of darkness that will want to resist the word of God, that wants to resist your presence, we smite it by the blood in the name of Jesus. Let your presence be felt so much in our midst as you speak to us. So that when we leave this place, we can say like the people who are in Emmaus going to me and say, did not a husband within us as he spoke to us. Touch every brother, every sister. Give us a heart of flesh. Amen. Remove every stony heart. Yes, Lord. Brethren who are on radios and on the Facebook or wherever they are listening to us, Lord, may you touch them. Amen. For we are in the closing scenes of time. Yes. We bless you, Lord. 
I will give you the glory. Take over and glorify thy name. Yes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ready, shall we be seated? Our team for the first three days have been where the carcass is there shall the eagles gather. And for a background, Jesus had moved to Jerusalem for the last time, and he had entered the temple and he had moved out of the temple. Jerusalem. And when he just got out of the temple, the disciples actually told Jesus how beautiful the temple was. And Jesus said made a shocking statement to them. This can be found from Matthew 24, 1 to 4, as you follow us. And he said, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, I will say, 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 in fact, the disciples were so surprised about the comment of Jesus. So, when Jesus and his disciples sat on Mount Olives, they went to Jesus and then just asked him, Lord, oh Master, tell us. Tell us, when shall these things be? That's the destruction of the temple. And then they went further. And what shall be the sign of your coming? And of the end of the world. These were the three questions that the disciples asked Jesus. And Jesus started answering them. And I asked Sophia, I said, so you are no. But the first statement Jesus made. Now so as in fear a di care free yes or no mobile. Said in answering them, Jesus said unto them, Take heed. Now all you are no no obuasi said that no man deceive you. Muya na obi anadamu. Take heed, brother, that no man deceives you. And I said, Muhe ye na obi anadam. Well, you have asked us about, we have asked you about uh, the destruction of the temple, about your coming and the end of the world. So, what, uh, why did you start to take heed? All right. Jesus knew that the greatest obstacle that is going to face humanity in this end time is going to be deception. There will be so much deception. And in telling the people or the disciples when the temple will be destroyed, the sign that will show that the temple's destruction is at hand, or his coming is at hand, or the end of the world is at hand, he made a statement. That's in right to 24 28. <laughs> He drew the attention. And this is an end time prophecy that for her soul over the carcasses, there will the eagles be gathered together. So after telling them the various events, signs that will prove that those things are about to be fulfilled, he made reference to. The eagle. Now, all church on Sanchez and any dear Ebesi, 
ah abemo mo hu se emre no aduro no or the okode no na do yes why did he talk about eagles but not about vultures or hawks or falcons or whatever but he spoke only about eagles na adenti na wanfa mpete anye emfato ho no ana wanfa akroma anye emfato ho anfa mpatuo anye emfato no ko fa akode enko a the lord being the creator knew the makeup of or he knows the makeup of eagle na onyankopon wo ba wo no onimu sanye onwene okode e fa aye ni de wo okode mu eagle has been given a special eye sa okode e de yama no ani sronko bi and with that eye there's no way you can deceive him na sa ani no ekura wo a obi ani wo betun ada ada wo ma na ye ye the deception that is going on in the world it takes only eagles to see what is going on. And therefore, the only hope for the children of God and for people on this earth and the coming of the Lord is to be an eagle. I don't see any that slow my quail or pet and my woman but me share a radi mayano and it's on Benya or Cody anywhere. Are you glad that you are an eagle? When you just saw your Cody. The way we are sitting, it doesn't look real. Like like oh, I'm praying that the Lord will grant us revelation this morning to know what He has made us to be. Brother, this topic that Pastor chose is a very deep topic. Because if you really understand this and how the revelation of it, you'll be careful with your life, your spiritual life, and your conduct, your behavior, your attitude, because you are made different. You will not behave like the people of this world. We are going to look at the nature of an eagle as described by the creator himself. And we are going to use these characteristics to compare them to our spiritual or to our Christian lives to see whether we are really eagles. And because if you say you are an eagle and you are not, the flight, the flight that you are going to make will show who you are. Because if you are a hen or a fowl, or you want to claim you are an eagle, you wait. The wind will blow, you will see who will fly up. Now, you be who a sense and no bad daddy say a tua and no bad daddy. And to say, We are a petto, say, We are a cuckoo, say, We are double double. A honey, you be who a sense, say, a tua, and you be who saw your petty, saw your acroma. Brother, this is a very serious topic that we should not play with it. Let's turn to Job chapter 39. This was when God himself came down and started asking Job some hard questions. And Job, the questions were so deep that Job just said, <laughs> said unto the Lord, Shall he that's contended with the Almighty instruct him? He that reprove God, let him answer it. Now, verse 27 says, Though the eagle mount up at thy command, God was asking Job. Now, Yankupo no and make her nest on high. Now, or any bo I was through. She dwells and abided on the rock. Or na abutanso upon the crack of the rock. Or kot na amutan papa mu. And a strong place. Any bia a a crown. Oh, rock of ages. Amen. Tete butaye. Let me hide myself in thee. I mean, family who is here, umu. From 
Then she seek the prey. Free me pone so tinti hano ano huhe ne di ani. And her and eyes behold afar off. Na na ni hulu sa na mi anadi ani free chiri chiri. Her young ones also suck up blood. And where the slain are, there is she. Na ninkuma no so echi moja ewo hano mo. Na biya o kumu muno e hona o muwa. Brethren, I believe when Christ was making reference to the eagle, he was talking about what the Lord told Job. Me eni anu me me jiri se bra o Jesus e kasafa o kodi ane hono me jiri se yo buha ana no o chifri. Brethren, let's note of this. The slain, that the fresh meat that has been slaughtered, is what the eagles feed on. Eagles don't feed on rotten meat. If you're an eagle sitting here, you understand what I'm talking about. Jesus warned. His people or the disciples told them, "Beware of the living of the Pharisees." Yes, you are catching. I see a phone. It says, "Muya muhuye wa Pharisee for more kanu." And he was talking about the doctrines of the Pharisees. Na o kasafa Pharisee for ni chira chira nuhu. Any time there's a living, it means there's corruption somewhere. Bribia akikaka krabe ba muno. That's why he gave a commandment that the Passover that no, there should be no living. There should be no living in the house of God. And they should keep themselves away from living for seven good days representing the seven church ages. And now, so and so much you move from where can be I am. I enjoy how much I want to to ask some soon. You just don't wake up and go and believe any doctrine that you think you can believe. One sorry, keke na wo ni che chere biye ni keke. Eagles have the eye that looked into the word of God and said that this is the truth or this is not the truth. Akori e e he nyamia semu. No ma kase we ni nyamia sem. Di amu ke di e nyamia sem. An eagle. Has been built specially so that it can fly higher than any bird. Now, on your cupo and you know, according to Christ, you could be sure. Baby, I obey you, Akono. And my beard, I obey you, Akono. I cost you a year, Musa. And his children has been equipped in a special way by the Holy Ghost so that they can fly higher, higher than any other human being on this earth. Na ne mano wode unkunku asha ye masro nkuse ye betumi etu akosro akosro a obi antumi tun kwasa bida Amen Amen Are you an eagle? We are called here. Are you an eagle? We are called here. Reverend God likens his prophets to eagles. Eni anume wo nyankopon de na difo atoto akori ehu. Why because they could see higher higher than what ordinary human beings could see. A son is said, one who could chili 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 change the nipple beer to me. And Exodus 19, 3 to 5. Well, Exodus 3, do you know you mean that call a new mono? God chose Moses as his prophet to carry his children on his wings from Egypt to the promised land. When you uncle Papa Moses said, need you for Na onfa ne ma enfri mizrim. Awa ne taba anso enko kena sa asiso. He says, and Moses went up unto God and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain saying, that shall that say to the house of Jacob and tell the children of Israel. Na Moses ko bipono su ne urade fri bipono mune ne kasa kachen se. Se na oba kachre Israel fi efuo. And Israel mano. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Now, 
Now therefore, if you obey my voice indeed and keep my commandments, then he shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. And if we will obey the voice of God in our age and move according to his commandment, then we can be called you are a peculiar people, a chosen nation, a royal priesthood. We have received the message of God from our prophet and therefore we are mounting on the wings of the eagle. And therefore we are peculiar people we are not like the denominational people. Yeah, this is, we are and the denomination is not our standard. There are other animals that can fly in the sky. We have the crow. We have the hawk. There's one called falcon. All in the family. But when it comes to flight, let all these birds follow mother, uh, let them follow eagle. Oh, eagle will be asking them, Are you coming? Oh, we are coming. Now, God, you have a summer, but Hawk will be flapping. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, now, I come, Massy, me, but I am coming. Meanwhile, he's going backward. Oh, that's for crow. After just crossing the sky, I said, no, it's enough. I the vulture will you. just go a little and say, look, I'm, I belong to the earth, not here. If they try to follow the eagle, they will disintegrate. It's a, eagle is a special bird, so you are not just an ordinary coffin in Mokwekwata and the rest. God has a gift to you. And it is God who is in you. And he says, ye are of, of God and have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And he says, ye are of you are eagles. We are yeah, not crows. We are not hawks. Yeah, yeah. The higher the eagle flies, the better, the better you better he can see. And if you study eagles, like Job, the Lord told Job, eagles don't build their nets on the ground. They don't build their net to lay eggs on the ground or even on trees. We don't do things by heart. Eagles do things by revelation. The Bible says what? It builds its net in the rock. Bible says, and it says in the crack, do you know what crack is? And it's the topmost part of the rock where you can assure yourself of the utmost security and safety. And that is where the eagle will build his net and lay his eggs. The best a hen can do is to look for some cool place on the ground and lay these eggs. The crow or the vulture or the, the hawk will just get some treetop. But remember, the tree can fall. 
where the egg has the hen has laid it there, somebody can be taking a step on it and crush all the eggs, but not the eagle. The eagle will climb higher and higher on the mountain to lay its eggs. Ebano akukwa oba perform baby no de na yure yure ho no atu nko si agu ho kwa kwa da bi ana ne ne be kodu akutu abi so na wakoye prebuo no atu nko si agu ho eba opete a ono si be kodu abi so no aye prebuo no atu nko si agu ho na wo mu nyina mu no onipa bi beti afa baabi no akoti atia sa akoko nko si ano so ana pampan sra de beti akwa komemene sa so no bi beti akotwa dia no Ma opete anase anene no nkosi ano atiti aguo na okode ano de ano de okwo wiom 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 reporting team bi so na botan so ho no why tun nkosi e wo ho amen amen who is an eagle why ne okode e this morning i want you to ask yourself am i an eagle and a pen person obi say ho ase mi say say and I'm your courtier. The prophet can make a statement. Oh, we are all eagles. A puity, you are general, but you are all children of God. But you know yourself. And that's what the Bible says be not be deceived, for God is not mocked. And whatsoever a man soweth, the same shall he reap. And it's in the Bible, Simona, Damo. When young Kupo Yensin at Chichi, not your Nipa Badiano, and one Obecha. Eagles are the elect of God in the age. I am young Kupo Cross for our power. The elect of God in the age that we live in. These are the eagles. Young Kupo Cross for our power. I want to ask you any according. And they are the overcomers. No matter what, they will overcome the deception of darkness. I have two scriptures I wanted to study as we move on. Today, I don't know we'll be able to obey the government's instruction today. But nah. let the Lord lead us wherever. Yeah, Let's turn to. Romans chapter 8, 28. Roma from Roma 80. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are they called according to his purpose. Verse 29. For whom he did, please listen, for whom he did for no. He also did what predestinate. Now, the purpose of God predestinating us is what to be conformed to the image of His Son. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Enter message believer. If you sit here and say, Well, by his grace, I am predestinated, therefore I can fool around. The, the simple answer is you are not predestinated. I don't say you have them cast some GD. Now cast oh. Why Jimmy dia ni wa Jimmy ya no no nti metimi adi nkwasi asem bia me pa bia wo ani ne ye nye wo because the purpose of God predestinating us is what to conform to the image of his son e says a potenti a wo yi wu si ho no ani se wo ba wo su ba be dey di se ne ba no and every day that is our objective to ensure that we live lives that are in conformity with Christ Jesus and it is that we are not able to understand. 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 Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Now, how are you want to honor and offer one? And whom he called, them he also justified. Now, how are you offer one and obu ambim? And whom he justified, them also he glorified. Oh, obu ambim no and ose wani onyam. I believe you are now understanding. God's foreknowledge. 
That is what has made us what we are. He has called us. You didn't call him. But he knows the purpose why he called you. He knows why he predestinated you. He knows why he has justified you. That you conform to the image of his son. Jesus. Not to conform to the image of the world. When I was studying this and I read Romans 9, I said, Hi. I know I remember those days when the scripture union in school. Romans 9 was a problem to my friends, as you members. I said, I can't come away. No, I see away. No, I can't come away. Roma from my train. No, I see not school. No, I have scripture union for no power. Someone say that it's confusing or it's. Now Romans 9, let's turn to 15. That will jump to 22 to 24 to see time. God said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Now I say, Moses said. Dear me, who no mobile noara, na me who no mobile, na dear me yem, sissy man or no, or no, and I'm yem beshe a mano. Seventeen. Do so. No, no, let's go back to sixteen. But I am called Luciano. So then, it is not him that willeth, nor him that runneth, but God that showeth mercy. And ye na and free dear or pe, and na dear or two mericano. That is why you can't come to the house of God and make yourself like you bloat like a toad. That because of some money or some cars or some houses that you have or some position that you have in the world, brother, you are here just by the mercy of God. I don't think I want to be money. I'm if you now you open time. Sika kakrebi ni edan kakrebi ni shan kakrebi awa nyanti. Anya unyuma anya wahu adin. And listen. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose I have raised thee up, that I must show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Now I try not see Pharaoh say, Ye aranti na mama usu say, me yi mitumi edi wa umu, na wabo midi asasi nina aso. You are looking at who is an eagle. You are looking at who is an eagle. For therefore has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he had in us. And it is or no, your person or who you mob, your person or premium akuma. How can God do this? No, yangu papa, di pa mi enu ti anu premium akuma. You had in somebody's heart. But remember this: God is God. In fact, if you go home, please go and read the whole of Romans nine, chapter eight and nine. When yangu papa, you really understand. God's sovereignty and power. Or did they woo? Ni to me, a on one to me, your pet and all ye. Obi Missano, the anti our yet, your ye. The mere father he called Pharaoh to use him. He is the same God who hardened his heart that he will not let the people go. That through the hardening of Pharaoh's heart, God must show his power to the whole earth. You can't question God. Or no answer of Pharaoh, no. On one sort of primina kuma, Sabay a pharaoh, Babay so all man in call for Nanko. Now on am and no so other than two meaning in your young Eddie. Put you, Miss Yangubas, I didn't in Ianisa. Please, time will not allow us, like we read the whole of Romans 9, for you to understand the sovereignty of God that if God by His grace has called you here, you have to humble yourself, right? Every nanny ho, I can roam my phone, my trunk, you're back kindly in and woe on Yankupon, send your ordinary hoofa. I will be to me, Miss Anno, the entire Oye, the Oye. And now let's move to jump to 22. Now listen, say, what if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, and deal with my suffering and vessels of wrath, fitted to destruction? Now say, O Yanko Pompe, say, O ye, Nabufu Eddy. Now, O Ma, Wahunu, Nitumi, dear, Nanso, or the Abuja Charibre, Kra. Now the elect listen. And, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had afore 
prepared unto glory. So, so, this morning, I want you to carry this term away. You are a vessel of mercy. Me a vessel of mercy. Of mercy. We are a humobro acradia and a crua vessel of mercy. We live by his mercy. Not domino and editias here. Even us. We are the vessel of mercy. Even us, whom he has called. Vessel of mercy. And by his mercy, he has called you. He has called me. And by his mercy, he has called you. Not because of your beauty, not because of any good thing that you have done, but His mercy has made so. And now I want to say, and now we sing, "Kubi awo nehumo broke kenti." Oh, I like this song. Jesus paid it all. The last song says, "Since nothing good have I done, how about Thy grace to claim? I wash my garments white in the blood of Calvary's Lamb." Say a kind and you mean yes to tear in a noir. Or say, I did papa be a mayo. I or noora me bonny a yet a few of moon or the Nimojano and all the who ruin in a mania fita. Even us whom he has called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Empoye ah, what fray and you have fun qua. Are you an eagle? We are called They remember. And he called you by his mercy. Or the name of Rosso, not the fro. And the same preacher, you can see it also in Ephesians 2 1 and 6. I just want you to understand this. That from now on, as an eagle, God, for a purpose and by his mercy, has made you what you are. It's not of anything that you think you have done. Get that, 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 get that in mind. And said, I said, and you, that's in Ephesians 2 1, and you has it quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now, wherein in Time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit now that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Now I can no monanti said ye we are say abra but ye ni said ye a weamu to me no penny no tie whom ah nan say ye a ye a jumawo as wadi mamu among whom also were we all had our conversation or our conduct in times past in the last of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath. Even as others. Womuna anka yen yinansu nambo yembra yen hunamakonomu na ye ye de hunamuno ne a junipe na said ye ye a wusuoti ye 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 a bufo mate se won a a canon so. If the Lord had not called us, we're all on the wrath of God. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, for if he loves us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. No ni Christo enyankwa. By grace. Adum na wadi aje. By grace. Adum na wadi aje mungwa. By grace are you saved. Adum na wadi aje yankwa. Remember the message when love projects. Se okay as empano a se odo emane honsua. Grace takes over. Adum esomu. Brethren, and this grace. If you really have the vision, understanding the revelation of grace, it will cause you to do more for the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
ma urade we are just saved by grace adum keke no dia ji yen and grace will grant you strength to do works that are pleasing to the lord na adum no ba ma wa ho odi ma odi aye enuma a eso urade ani because the very well to do good the very well to do the works of the lord is the lord who places that will in you na ope aye di ya papa that is his grace and his grace teaches us all the time to do the right thing and eagle has a higher ambition and if you are an ambitious person you do not allow setbacks temptations trials and those things to stand your way you have a goal and no matter what you are looking at that goal sa uyo obi a wo buta ye bi si wani mu a wo ma kwan ma pampim osi akwan aniamma atwe nipa san e mesi wa kwan e wo buta ye wo na wani mu no therefore in the time of storm and billows enti edu when all birds or animals are running to hide for cover that is where you see the eagle all flouting the wings and allowing the stones to carry him and he, because he desires to scale through the utmost heights and catch the glimpse of glory bright so when the wings Oh the billows are tossing around that is why he opens his wings and flies by the power of the, that storm Anu ti bra ehum ni asochi ebo e fra majam pantruru eba no e ho na okode ni tretre ni ntaba mu ni wa tretre mu ye ni wa bo mu ni wa makwan ma ehum na ma ne so ma na ko wiya mu ni wa ko ba bia ekro ni wa ko hu eniamo efe awurade mu in the midst of storm eagles will not will not even bother to flap their wings na ehum no apampa mu no on pray ni hu so ba bo ni ntaba mu just open up and the wind will carry you no wonder proverbs says that there are three wonders in this f are the fourth so when the last look at proverbs chapter 30 read 18 and the 19th so one of the the three things that are so wonderful they are the eagles they say there will be three things which are too wonderful for me yea four which i know not and let's look at 19 just the first part the way of an eagle in the air aniema miensa ena eya me nwonwa ose ye nkodu nkro ose akode akwan ewo owie mu the one who wrote this proverb just sat down and looked at the eagle in the midst of terrible storm like brian pa will say that is where you see the eagle making keche just okay. showing the skills being carried safely up there Hurricane tornado muno eho na okodie yi ebeko akodi nagro wadada ne ho wadada ne ho edi nagro ewo ho no will your anchor hold in the storms of life na ekoba sa wo betimi atintim abrabo mu when tears and temptation come your way what do you do as an eagle bra en sohe aba wo kwa mu no se okodie edie na wo ye you said I'll say if, I, if we were, were to be with us but I don't think this thing will happen to me I don't think God is really interested in my face that's all you say is the devil deceiving you what now no aka so say urade kam ho aka me nyini say we nyina be si e bia na yakopon kra na ni nkume ho ay abron say no dada o in the midst of storm is an opportunity to fly higher and higher and e humu kese mu no na kwanya kese wo that is an eagle and the eagle will not waste time on the attractions of this earth if the eagle is looking down 
is looking for his prey. Immediately he gets his prey and go and catch the, the, that animal, he flies back. He will not waste his time and meddle himself with the affairs of crow and vulture and uh, hawk and those things. He will go and ask them, how far? How is the economy doing, Mr. Crow? Mr. Hawk, how are you managing? Eagles have no time for that. Now, I'll call you here for more. No, I'll hear from our pen. I'll be our pen watching. And to our hear for more. And you'll be empty. On this, sir, Pete, and then it. Quack, quack, Debbie. And now, I'll be in our case. Now, on your sister, a real sister, I'm going to call you. Oh, I'm going to call you. Oh, I'm going to call you. Hey, he's always looking up. My house, there, there, there are some crows around the house. When they fly, let's say they come and perch around my place. I'm making so much noise. I say, look at the crows. Shame on you. You, your fellows are flying high. You look at you where, where you are. I see baby or Tiano. Quite, quite, there be a few or And then, now, one more two are no more basis. If you know one more, and you know so, no more yet, dead a quaint, 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 Colossians 3 tells us something. So, it says 3 1. It says, If you don't be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Not on things below. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Man fa wa kono and to a niema I wa asasi so remom niema I was ro. Eagles set your affections on things on high, not on things below. Fa wa ni no wa kono dia to a niema I was ro anya dia wa asasi so. We call ourselves eagle, but we have become so earth bound. Ye fa ya hu akodi. We think so much about the things on this earth, which are all temporary things, more than the things up there. To save time, let's go move on. Eagles are made to endure hardness. Now, according to the idea, yeah, 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 yeah that is how God has built the eagle and the children of God, the elect of God, have been made to endure hardness. And that is why at the times of the inquisition and persecution, mothers with their children were ready to walk to the state to be burnt. They were fed to the lions and so on. They stood because they have been built to endure hardness. I don't think now a brand of Roma for no a kuma Christopher water to Christopher for no. And now I will back. But to me, Gina was in the cook with some mother. I said, Panu Timun Kume. Oh, about. Oh, back. Oh, how near me. I didn't want to be a family. In the midst of poverty. In the midst of COVID. In the midst of all troubles. He will not go and sell his birthright. He will not say that things are hard. Let me go and pass here and follow this man small. So I can make some money to feed myself. And eagles and your hardness, no matter what the situation, they stand with the word of God. COVID Mremu. Ah. Restaurant in Yaguno. 
Ubi ya enye ye sasa ubi ya metadi eno. Kome di mremu. Adi enko ye juma mausika enye bidi eno. Onye bi maono. Okodi enko kasa enye mami kwa yimi pieto. Sebe ya bema ibe mami sika. Onkasa ada. Oba kasa eti senkura mejina. Ama wenyanko pao. That is how they've been built. They are built on rocks. On strong places. High places. On the rock. That is where they are built up. Sa ane wanyine okodi ye. Wanyine okodi ye dinu esi butan so. And Proverbs 24.10. Just as this. Mebu se me te di yoni na imu dinu se. Let that scripture always guide you if you are getting discouraged. It My says son? what? If thou faint in the day of adversity, then thy strength is more. Because sometimes temptation comes, the devil wants to deceive you. To turn around from the word of God, let this scripture, Proverbs 24 10. It says, If you faint in the day of adversity, then thy strength is more. But 2 Timothy 2 tells us, 2 Timothy 2, verse 2 and 3, or 3 to 4. And also, now, so, Timothy, oh my, toss him, you're a team, you're a team, and son, and say, Thou therefore endure hardness. Would you have a more than a tina, bread, demu, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, endure hardness. Say, Christ, oh, yes, you see, and he, no man that was, demu. No man that worries entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Wiggly soldiers are built to endure hardness. And you, the spiritual soldier of the cross, you have to endure more hardness. Now, what we have become too soft. We have become too soft. We have become too soft. Fast, fast for one day is a problem. Yeah, you come that look crying. Read the message, the third Exodus. It takes three months. Yang King Kai Exodus, I tossum me and so do for no Kai, you know. I was so many and so OBM, OBM, so cram you. Some didn't even open. OBM, you mumpo. But those days, they are early days in the message. One week, you want to read about five to ten messages. Now, I'm ready to be a and you just don't read, you will read and you want to share with others. But these days, yeah. God has been gracious enough to tell you, just go and read this one, and that one too has become a problem. And then and enduring hardness and forgetting about the affairs of this life, that is the only way you can please the one who has called you, who has enlisted you into that army. We don't run away from trials as eagles. When trials come away, we stand and face it and overcome it. If you read Deuteronomy 32, 11, and it tells you how the eagle trains, mother eagle trains his children. Sometimes, 
You look at it and say, ah, is the mother wicked? And to the beer, who ran it, you make us, ah, according to my other and Timothy, sir. And the prophet preached a message as the eagles stirred the net. Now, do you follow Cassa and Pabia as a senior? As the eagles stare the net, flutters over, over her young. These are young eagles which have never flown before. Then one day, the mother eagle will always go fetch for food or meat and bring it to these young eagles. You'll be protecting them, moving over them. Oh, 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 but mother you saw that these my youngest have grown to a level that they can fly. The Bible says no temptation will come to more than you can bear. Mother eagle ways to ensure that all the little eagles, the eaglets, can fly. Bible say, "On so he be no ababa wa kwa mu asu chende obe timi adi so." Anu ti akodi ma mi chai kosi se akodi ma ibedu babi obe timi adi. So when the time comes, all of a sudden, mother eagle will change her attitude towards her children. Every niya du pa no akodi ma mi wa chende asu san isubai. The Bible says it flatters over her young. What does it mean? It behaves strangely to us, these loving children. By seriously flapping her wings. He flaps and flaps over the little eagles and they will just wonder, Mama, what are you doing? It will flap and flap and the eagles, the little eagles will just be just so confused. That's when trial comes, you get confused. And you tell them, you don't belong to this earth. You don't belong to this nest. Yours is in the sky. And therefore, I am going to take you to the sky. And you are going to fly yourselves. We have lived in our comfort zones for far too long. Mother Eagle comes and flatter his wings over us and say, Why, God, what sin have I committed that you are doing this to me? No, it's my love because you don't belong to that place. That's why sorry. Now he'll give a command. Everybody ready? Come on, be on my wings. Settle on my wings. Don't the flattering or the fluffing of his wings will ensure that if there are any loose wings, they are removed before you start the flight. So he wants your ease self. The mother eagle, if there are any loose wings in me, let me remove it because I don't want to jeopardize the lives of my children. And the children to even have any loose wings, I have to flap on the wings to remove them. Before they go to the end. I I said, he's spreaded abroad her wings. Come on, jump on, babies. We are going to have our first flight. Hey, mother, you are going to kill us. So, in obedience, this little eagles will jump on the wings of their mother. Now, oh, then all of a sudden, mother eagle will fly over them. Now, so all then all of a sudden, mother eagle will take off. I say, Omu, you are mother, Omu, Tibu, Tem, Bisu, Apam, Pamu. Oh, no, 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 Amen. Amen. The first solo flight. Then as he goes up, he makes sure he just flatters one more time and all the eagles will be just, they are out of the wings now. They are on their own in the air. 
mama say you me efesa o mu di o mania o se he mu mia mano mu nya obi entu ni de mu a born in time why no obi anam you me now you hear screams mama 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 we are dying you're going to die they say you won't die baby just fly around mama me kwati eto mani su chi mi o me kwati eto se da bi and her mother eagle sees that one of the kids is really struggling and uh, it looks as if the fate is small. He go and jump under that roof. Just stay on my wing and don't die. Nah, I call dear mama here. I'm bad about Kwa. Where do you am? Baby, I said you are coming to Fano or Chiachia. No, I call call for Nancy. Say yeah, no, I better not tell by you. So no, I manage to be you. That is a try we go through. The believer, you go through trial. By the midst of trial, God watches over you. He doesn't leave you alone to struggle forever. So these eagles become so much used to the air and they don't want to come back to the nest again. Ah, we didn't know that there's so much in the sky. Ah, Mama, Mama. I can fly myself. I Sir? can go anywhere. Well, I don't need my mother to guide me. Mama, <laughs> say we are the same part and yet it is a I have met me to offer by the air of young Kaya home. Ah, Redden, that is how God trains his children. Sir, I know when you are in a you just cannot. Just be on flowery bed of ease all the time, thinking that if you come to Christ, everything is such a you lie. You go through trials, you go through chastening. Yeah, to me, I'm probably I hold you, I hold you. Nay, na and you do your one castle. You now back is some with ya. Why are body for the Bibia? Hey, your body, Davy, and your body, sir. Proverbs, Psalm 94 12. Just says this, let's say Psalm 94. It says, Blessed is the man that thou chasteneth, O Lord, and teacheth him out of thy law. That, that, thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. Na wo mano ahome ewo ada a aye ani anyanyandie mu anase o hawo mu na watu amna ama na tamfo the eagle must surely go through that that's the only way you can build up into maturity as an effective eagle na esese okode no fa sa anso he mi anu ko na ba mana nyini abaye okode pani i know hebrews 12 in Hebrew form, my Five to eight also tells us, says, have you forgotten? Brethren, have you forgotten the exhortation which figured unto you as unto children, my son? Despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Now, for whom the Lord loveth, he he ch he chasteneth. And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as his sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? What now, sir, Emma? Or Baba, na neja anche na so. If you be that without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards, not sons? Na samu ya ma ya anche mo asua. Ani na mu ya mu ni chafa awo mu na mu ya ejamai ma. Let's take this little scenario. As we mother eagle has got four eggs, he has hatched four, so we've got him four children and. One hen or cock mistakenly also finds himself joined with them. And the mother eagle is taking the children for a flight. What do you think will happen to that chicken? Yeah, I'm fine to say, 
akwade maami atu ni kosia egu ho ni prebu mu no ana bobonfo bi betwa mu ono de akukokosia ka ho ana obubo oye obubo wi eye akukoko ba ku county akwade ma miensa akukoko ba ba ku nti bira du se odu o betu awa hwa de ne besie you know mother eagle knows the capability of her children na uni mu akwade ma mi enim ne maru aho oden but the strange thing that came that she's not too sure of is not too sure so what you say you stay here you stay in the nest as i go with my three kids why because he knows you cannot stand you that chicken cannot stand the trial it will kill itself so you stay in the net eti se ko ba sa o ha na ni mudi no ha na no a we de o nka ye ho enti tu o mi be me ni me ma e betu me de o ka ho anya na bibia ko ye o enti o de atena ha na me ni o mo nko mra that is how bastards as they seem to be enjoying life they seem to having things so easy and then you sit here and compare yourself with bastards how come that i call myself a christian and all these things are happening to me if you look at the people in the denominations they are not seeing anything they are enjoying life so cool eh? brother sister watch god's word he says if you are uh, without chastening what of are you partakers then are you bastards and not sons anuntina wo mo wo mo ni papa no wi asefo no oh okodua ebro ewo abutan so kra na fifi na aye bebere wo de no wo ya wo bebere sa bompa ya nti da bia na wo bisa na urade na menko ada na menko na ba ni se na oy man ka sa never mem against god me ni mi ti anyame what he is doing in the life of his children wo no no nim de oye woni mabrabom we have a song must i be carried to the sky on flowery bed of ease when others fought to win the prize or sail through bloody seas when the battle is over we shall wear a crown i say sure i must fight if i should reign if i will reign increase my courage lord i'll bear the toils and endure the pain supported by thy word osiana one for and part of otofo i'm a family to for you na me nko ana da bi ssa send me a di kan fo no fa ejem afa eje ensuo mu ssa me so me fa mu afa mo ja ni mu ana ya so me wi e no akire no manya abotre na se manko ku no a me de no manya abotre no Yes, that sounds like some through the waters. Some through the flood. Some through fire. But the most important thing is all through the blood. We go through different forms of trials. But don't compare yourself with somebody. Just keep trusting the Lord in whatever trial the eagle is going through. In your trials, make sure you don't speak against God. Because he knows what is good for you. The last thing I want to say about eagles before we go to the carcass, if time will allow us, and we'll talk about our gathering together. Eagles renew their strength daily. Akodie ekanya wo ho odi mu da bia. There's a way eagle is always strong that not because it doesn't get tired, not because it doesn't get weak, but it renews its strength all the time. Mamen can say akodie ye training da bia, me ka training da bia beti ase. Anu tu wa ka se bia akodie no amra obra be o ye training da bia nti eagle is made for the sky it flies all the time but, but it comes to a place it says that the wings are getting weaker he will do everything to ensure that the loose wings are removed so that new wings come up some, some of us do not even have time to assess ourselves 
Where yeah. we stand spiritually. As long as I belong to original word ministry, all is well. Brother, you are deceiving yourself. You do, you do everything for leadership to see you that you are a serious church member. That's good, but that is not enough. In your own closet, as you are praying, the Bible says, examine yourself. Examine yourself whether you are in the faith. For you must know your own selves. If you come here and you keep committing fornication, and you think you come here, nobody sees you, faster sees you, praise God, sister, how are you? You think that's it, you're taking to heaven, you are deceiving yourself. Praise God. You sit here and your heart is full of bitterness. What you are have? bearing God with your, some of your own brethren. You sit in the house of God. You don't examine yourself. You are deceiving yourself. What you are sorry for your heart no you sit here and any little chance you get you are in an adult home you want to go and consult because you are not getting enough here there is no power here therefore you want to get something from adult home shame on you and you sit here and you call yourself an ego I you will never do this what a animal you sit here in the night you are the queen in under the sea witchcraft sorcery is so much on your head and you call yourself a nigga you are deceiving yourself what the animal and I do what the whole my wife was telling me the way you when you come to a puppy, you speak against witches and the rest, they will not leave you. That's why you always say, if I talk against her, they will kill me. God will allow them to kill me. Let them kill me. I said, Nana, you didn't catch and say, Hey, send your Uba Popita, Ukasa, Abe, for any me. I'm by how I do you. I don't know. So, Yanko, poor mama, or Mukaya, what to me, I'm here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Brethren, we are living in the time of darkness. And all the money powers are at their climax. They are doing terrible things. We have a duty to ensure we renew our strength to march on. Psalm 103 5 says, Who satisfy their mouth with good things? So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Wow, then you are passa and frumu. Say by a mabru, you mude bia, a benya nam, you are not to be renewed like an eagles all the time. Debia, ya ya nam to so called when you are getting weak. Yeah, call yeah. upon the Lord. Say they that wait upon the Lord. Isaiah 40, 28. Shall we turn to that and read as we move on nah, to the rest? I say the war will change radiant no and yahoo are the fro. Has that not known? Has that not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Now who knew ye? Now won't he ye? Say, Oda nyan kupano, do a boss ro a yasin yano. On top of on top of her na omre. He give up power to the faint. And to them that have no mind, he increases strength. Oh, my dear, to me, Nadia, what about Hano or Manahuadin? Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. Empo, a mabru, a better Tiago at Obaha, now a mantia at Tiago. But, now so, but, 
They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Let us wait upon the Lord. As eagles, so that the Lord will renew our strength all the time. Amen. Amen. Our topic we are discussing talk about carcass. Where the carcass is, there shall the eagles be carcass. We are going to the bones more. Red carcass is fresh meat. Not rotten meat. And you know, okay, no one here. And yet, she is an amfu. Now, a higher carcass, no, a namuno. A boy, a kunu fufro. Job tells us that's the slain. Something has been killed that same day, and there's blood in it. That's what eagle feeds on. Job will say, The yakuno, a boy, a yakuno for friend, am I a kunu fufro? And therefore, carcass for our age, the fresh meat for our age, is the revealed word of God, which comes to us through God's prophets. Now, I want to ask because when Christ was prophesying about the events that will take place at the end time, Christ, Christ, he didn't speak about vultures. He didn't speak about hawks. He spoke about eagles. For eagles forever. There is a, a revelation of God's word. Eagles will gather there. Because God has sent a prophet who is an also eagle to bring us an eagle's food. You stay there and say you will eat eagle's food. You will eat chicken food, you'll be a chicken. Would you have to know how to cut the idea and you need? Oh, by a cook idea, a cook idea. Amen. Amen. And that is what the devil has been fighting so much to take people away from the review word of God in our age. Now, I know now a town for no bronzam. I can't so by you are free as some power. Then I didn't look at the divisions that have gone on in this message. And if you really sit down and analyze the cause of division, they are very flimsy things. Because the devil knows that that is the pure meat for the, the bride. And therefore, if you allow everybody to go into that peacefully, his kingdom is in trouble. And therefore, you bring confusion and division. And notice The prophet himself prophesied. And Paul also said the same thing. You know, at my departing, grievous who shall come in your midst. They will create all kinds of confusion. But the prophets when they come, stick together. Jesus, when he was here on earth, told his people. Yes, I was as his occasion as you were around him, and that became a stumbling block for so many people. And that's in John chapter 6. John 6 20, uh, 52. John 6 52. We just allow us a little time because we need to finish this. I will thank you. I won't take too much of your time. So don't be looking at the watch. Amen. Amen. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? You therefore know a cow on Tamusa. Ah, I did a papa or didn't you know one by my head? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh. Of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. I said, No cry, no cry, Messimus, 
aji se mudi onipa ba ne honam na munum ni moja mu ni chefa bia woni mu brethren at that time jesus was the message of the hour sabrero na yesu ani asem pa wa sa do ni mu and now he's telling us again except you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood na ana so no life in him what? in our day it is the revealed word of god for us and that's so akasa asem no a kire ye se aji se ye di ne honam no oni pa ba ne honam ne anum ne moja anya sa ye ne ne chefa na asem no honam no ani asem na wada na die no you can when you go home just read all john 652 go it down no allow us and when he said this do you know what the people said okay and only the confounder can this is a hard saying who can believe this in and other words this man want to make us vampires he wants us to go and drink his blood to drink his flesh can our people hey papa we me nim say say no te say o ba nyina o ba me ya be ye nipa ya wi nam nipa nam da bi asemwe dia no den dodo to eat his flesh and drink his blood where the carcass is is to do what to take to hear the word of god take it in good faith and be obedient to that word na se e be di ne ho na ne anum ne moja no e o ba bia na mono no waro ani se e be fa na asem no ye be fa ye be di asem no so ye be suti e be ma asem no in luke 8:15 luke as am petre ngo twi mudu num no we heard it in my teaching um as pastor took us through it says look at 15 we were talking about the seed the sower that went to sow the seed the last one said but that on good ground the seed that fell on good ground as as to us as a person are they which ready listen the way look put it are they which in an honest and good heart have we heard the word Keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. I say, na the egu aban egu as as a person, aye wo a wadi nukremu, adi akumapa, wati asamuno, wadi asamuno, no adi asamuno ba bra, ewa butremu esu abawum. Some can hear the word. and claim they believe the word they are working according to the word but they are not honest ebinum ba ti asem no ayese o ma ji asem na de o mu de nante na so mo nyi nokura wo that's why you come to church and you hear sisters don't put on earrings don't perm your hair and those things well you will say amen 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 by in his heart obua in his heart how can you just make us glow like this I will take my tent. After you know, see when I go to Kojoku room and I wear my earrings and there's no pastor there. You are not honest. I do not receive in a good heart. So ba sorry ya. Na sempa no ba. O se man. O ji man ni wi a. E man man ti na jina puppet ti no me sa say o man ko mu nyi o. Eh o ma ye sa o ma ya ye kolo. na se me tu kwan na me kodu kodu krom obi e ni honu mo na me kika ma nim sha me trouser e ho wo be hu oba na wa yi trouser na guo na wa be sha ni skirt na wa be tena se wa ni no kra ma nyame there are some when he say so long dress he will put on very nice long dress e bi no wo ka se on pam atare tintina oba pam tintin tin fe 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 oh you see him don't pam natural hair ma nya which is good oh nya but you go and step on her toes or his toes na ma musio mo send your soft for kind electric fish na ko tie ne na so kakra apusu you tell me you about to say here i will put bible aside and show you that i to a day wa fa ne ntuma sri e di abona sin no aka cho se me di bible be to nchai na me ni wadi wa ha fit your own dress What are the things in our eye? Your natural look. What happened to it? We three now are natural in our eye. Yes, because you did not receive the word in a good heart. We are far from a pan. You are not honest, and therefore you can keep the word. We need no clear man. I am entering on to me. I am far from this year. No. So let us what we believe here. The moment I heard the idea, I knew I had reflect in the life that we live. Now. 
And it's inside out thing. You just don't show outside in. You, you, are, you are projecting a good thing about yourself, but in you, you are still holding to your witchcraft. You are deceiving yourself. Yeah, First John 3 23, 23 to 24 says, and this is his commandment. Now that we should believe on the name of his son Jesus Christ. And love one another as he gave his commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him. Not he that comes to church. I just be a mere church member. But he comes to church, hears the word of God, keep it. And he, that that is that the Lord dwells in him. And hereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he has given us. Amen. Amen. Eagles of this age. Are you an eagle? After we have gone through all this, can you say you are an eagle? We are feeding. The eagle of this age is feeding on a carcass. And we are feeding on the message that God promised to us in this generation. And the promise of this message is in Malachi 4, 1 and 6. Now, as by America, a train line. The last is the sixth. That's the message for us. Is the, the sixth part. But let me read the whole of Malachi 4. What is it? For behold, the day cometh that shall then as an omen, and all the proud year and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And now the day, and the day cometh that shall bend them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that he shall leave them neither root nor branch. And there be but a best shit to suffer no. Now I say, a hand time for you now, ayo. Any a wudi for you now, na timodi for you now. To say a wira. Now let me. But until you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and shall go forth and grow up as calves of the storm. Now the osro midi no besore at say train a wira train eh. Now and ayaresa a one in tabemu. Now I grew at the set in Yancheba. Please go on. And ye shall tread down the, the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, says the Lord of hosts. Now at yet here, I would do for an atimodin for us to say, and so I will not say that my yes, I add ye, send your radicid. Verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I command unto you in here of. Horeb or Sinai for all Israel with the, with the statutes and judgments. Now listen to what the Lord is going to use the spirit of Elijah to do. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the day of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the house of the fathers to the children and the house of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now, Abadane, Emma, Akuma, Ako, Ejaro, Akuma, Akoma, so, now, the Maso, Akuma, Ejaro, so, Anya, sir. Somebody raised a question about this, and I think Pastor dealt with it. So, do we understand it? Obi that in this scripture Pastor. that we have read, we have the two phases of it Elijah coming to turn the house of the fathers to the children, that is John the Baptist doing that work, and another Elijah coming to turn the house of the children to the apostolic fathers. Uh, so, for the car church, and we'll be saying, who has no Yano, Elia, oh, Baba Dane, a Janoma Kumaba, a Maso. Now, 
Eni Elia Oba Abedane Emma Akuma Ako Ejanomo so Ah Aya as a Asuma Fono. That's the prophet of the hour. That's the prophet of our turning the hearts. Oh yes, Lord. Of the children, you are the children, the heart of the eagles to the apostolic fathers. Or do you follow Abedane and Mana Yakuma Ako? And that is the third exodus. Preparing us for the flight. Yeah. Oh, that is the third exodus. And who tell you in the first exodus when Moses was leading Israel and somebody in Israel maybe from the house of Levi. As for us, we are already circumcised. And we are okay, comfortable with Egypt. So you can make your journey. So we won't listen to what you are saying. Go ahead. You will perish in Egypt. Now when I catch you, I say, Emra Mose, Ebe Fawo, Akono. Obi, Tfi, Levi, Abu, Siyan, Kaze, Oh, Yeh, Fri, Tete, Eno, Mfi, Asye, Cha, Ye, Cheti, Ya. Inti, Cheti, Ya, Cha, No, De, Ye, De, Ye, Bibi, Ye, Bibi, Ya, Ye, Oke. Inti, No, Ye, De, Ye, Mude, 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 Ye, and say if I sit in my denomination, I'm okay. Oh, me too. As long as I believe that, that my Bible, sit there. Sit there. And be eating the food of the fowls and chickens. Now, you see why you find yourself. Because you are the impotent. Because if I don't send this prophet, I will smite the earth from the cars. Also, all the or say your Bible as I say so. And you, as you heard from my brother Empire yesterday, already God has started giving people up to believe lies, to believe deceptions. As, as you heard our brother quoting Second Thessalonians, we have been giving some people have already been given up to lies, to a deception of the devil. So if you reject the message, wait. The consequences will follow. Because that's God's way. Because the Lord, when he looked through the times, he saw that it's only when the eagles gather. Where the eagles gather. Or where there's carcass, there the eagles will gather. It's only eagles, not hawks, not fowls, not vultures. It's only eagles who will gather because they have special eyes that they cannot be deceived. Now, when you come here, my brother, who say, "I did according to the Bible to Messiah," I will marry this same woman. In the according to the Bible, I never see. And the message of the hour is the eagle's food that we are feeding on. Now, as I'm poor, dear man, we are my brother, who are according to the Bible. No, and the food will satisfy the eagle. And the Bible, you know, I'm my according to me. Let the most backslidden person in this message. Go back to those churches. He will tell you, brother, like Pastor said, I am there rather giving instructions. I see, I'll become the house prefect of the church. Brethren, eagles food is special. What is my obi friend? We have no case. We have no No, we have no sin. Sorry, mu. What now? We have no bayer. We have no fuo. We have no case. We have no case. We have no case. In closing, eagles always gather. We gather around the carcass. We gather around the food. We gather around that spiritual meat. That makes us grow. Hebrews 10 25 says, Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. The garden is so much important as you see the days approaching. But when we gather, and you are feeding on this nice meat. When I was reflecting on this, something, the Lord revealed something to me. Go to where? The poultry house. And see when the chicken are feeding. They are all around. That bowl where the food is. And as they are feeding, you see them making noise. Crock, 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 crock. And they are eating, making noise. Brethren, we must gather and fellowship in love in peace and in joy or so all the engineer semi you know now make sure you know baby so so all for all trying to do in course see baby i am going to come home now so i'm going to move the idea oh my god i'm going to see ya 
singing and praising the Lord and giving thanks to the Lord as you are feeding all oh, Psalm 133 1 to 4 says Psalm 133 behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity we gather under the carcass, the review word, in unity. Yes, And what he says, it is like, it is like what? Can you move to the next verse two? I think he's stuck somewhere. Let's. It is like precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. Also, oh, it is our duty, brethren, it's obligation for us as eagles, when we gather, we must gather and dwell in unity, in love, in peace, with thanksgiving in our hearts. And yes, sir, it's yes, yeah. Sir, accordia, ye bet na awa sumjemu, or domu, kru yemu, awa sumjemu. As you are feeding, ye did you know, if one is struggling to take the meat, you just go nearer and help that person. So, obi bressa, obafa, ya nini biya diya. And Jesus gave us a commandment. The whole word of God is a commandment of the Lord. But in Matthew 13, he gave us another commandment. And that's what the prophet called the 11th commandment. Matthew 13, 34. Matthew 13, 34. That's a commandment. And those of us, if you love the Lord, you will ensure that you obey this commandment. I'm sorry, it's John, John 13, please. It's John 13, not Matthew. John 13. A new commandment I give unto you. This is from the Lord. At the time that he was preparing to go to Gogota. New commandment I give unto you that ye love one another. As, as I have loved you, so also love one another. By this, not by our miracles, not by our signs and wonders, but by this, that, that, that love, the that all men, uh, by this all men shall know that ye are my disciples, if you have loved one for another. The only way we can say that we love one another, we love our God, is to show by obedience to his word, truly loving one another, not bearing grudge against a brother or sister. If you are sitting here, and you don't talk to your brother here, your sister here, ask yourself, am I an eagle? And you call back why you say I do are you an eagle if you sit here and you bear grudge with each other when the Bible says bear not grudge against the people I mean the, against your own brethren of my people Bible say how you see, eagles have a big challenge, a big job to do. And because we have disobeyed God's commandment, that is why this message, people don't even regard it again. That is the biggest, the greatest message that the Lord has given to us in this country. Those were the days a minister will make a mistake and instead of a fellow minister going to him to correct that mistake you come to the pulpit and the whole day is about that minister to tear him down and they're tearing us out of love but you are intentionally to disgrace and to shame him and to just ridicule him that is not love <laughs> 
and from so kakraba. Send in your soft war, I be friend on a odi odo a chira chira no man who say ha no. In case you can we sign a bar no can. There be no no so be jina puppet ha no mo. No no so be jina no a bar be guni peri ni masi. We be kasa te te no pasa. Nyesa buta e so otne tne no. Oh brand masi. That is no laugh. You made your sister, you wanted to greet him. Maybe you was thinking about something. Her mind was far away. So before I have passed you, this sister, she, look, I tried greeting, but I didn't mind me. I think he has something against me. You say all kinds of things against this sister. Meanwhile, the person's mind is not even there. You are disturbing yourself. That is no laugh. Oh, only about Macasano, Uchiana, Betiana, on your soda. I don't cast away your do. I'm passing so bitchy, I'm so now, no chiana on your soda. No one is so chiawati, so I don't say. Rabbit, let us examine ourselves. Because oh, hey, hey, it's not just simple to say, I am an eagle, I'm a child of God. Yeah, because you have believed the message and you come to church. That is not enough. Mumma, yeah, mumu, yeah, mumu, yeah, mumu. Nay, yeah, 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 there's so much to do. In closing, yeah, Paul, no. I want to leave Colossians 3, 12, 15, 12 to 15 to you, and then we sing a song and we bring our music to Colossians is telling the eagle, put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and, and beloved, powers of mercies, kindness, Humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. Enti enam se moye nipa a onyanku pon ayi mo a hote fone adofu yi monse timobro ayemuye a hobrasiye ajene ojuo abujechare. Forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Nase obi ni obi nya asembi a muhuru ema me mamu ho. If any man has a power against any, even as Christ forgave us, so also do ye. Namo fan chicha moho, said ye a radi di acha mono, said ye monso munyano. Above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Na yen yenu munyina so na monsha odo a eka enoma yina bo muno, a ye ye paye nu. And let the peace of God rule in your heart. To the which also ye are called in the in one body, and be ye thankful. Na Christo asum yeni peni mu makuma mu enumu enumu so na wafre mu aba ni pediaba akumu na moanya ni pa a wawo aye ye. Brethren, ye are the vessels of mercy. Moye mubrohu krua. We live here by the mercies and grace of God. Let us humble ourselves to and, uh, support one another, pray for one another, and love the word of God as we press on, waiting for the coming of the Lord. And, I know that if you don't eat, you will die. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Taking the message of God as the Lord has sent to us, telling it, enjoying it, and preparing yourself for His coming. May God richly bless you, and may the word of God continue to be sent deep into our hearts as we go and reflect on this. Let's turn to Him 12. Am I a soldier of the cross, a follower of the Lamb? And shall I fear to own his cause obliged to speak his name? Speak his name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Jesus. Where shall we cry unto the Lord? Shall we call upon the Lord? Lord, make me an eagle this hour. Let my life reflect Jesus' eyes. Let's touch Jesus. Yes, Lord, she is. Jesus. Let the Father know a shadow as a Jesus. Oh, yeah. Jesus, 
Oh, we're shut up. Okay. We call on our precious pastor to close us with a word of prayer. After that, you will listen to a few announcements. Let us be in prayer. Father, we pray. We are honestly thanking you for the message that you've given it through your servant. We are so grateful that we have come to realize that it's not by our might, it's not by our strength. It's not because we are so beautiful or we are so powerful than others. It's not because we are having a special education than others. But it's because of your foreknowledge that you predestinated us, O Lord, and brought us into your kingdom, that we are seated with you in heavenly places as sons and daughters of yours, Father, as your bride, O Lord. Father, we are so grateful. We pray that, Father, you teach us every day, O oh Lord, that we walk in your mercies and your grace, that we will not abuse the grace that you are given unto us. As Apostle Paul said, because of grace shall we sin. And he said, God forbid. Father, help us to walk in your grace. Live like eagles. Feed on fresh carcass every day. And Father, live the life of eagles, O oh Lord. This is our prayer. I pray for this church, Father, that the deception that is going on in the world, even the deception that has entered into the message, the spirit of delusion, the seed of discrepancies that have been sown in Christianity and in the message, that seed of discrepancy, the seed of deception will not touch any one of us. That in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of shakings, in the midst of confusion, as the eagle's tears and moves better in storms, help us, O Lord, to stay and glide on the storms in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit the coming weeks into your hands. We pray that your grace will abound for us. You prosper our handworks. You will heal us of our sicknesses and diseases. You will touch us of our infirmities. Wherever we are weak, Father, you strengthen us, Lord. And this is our prayer. I pray for my brother, my senior in the Lord. I pray that your grace will abound for him. The attacks of the enemy against him and his family, I condemn them and I command them in the name of Jesus Christ to cease right here. Amen. Oh, Lord, may you fill him with more grace, more power, more anointing, more of your spirit. That he may come here and Lord, give to us food in good season, in right season. Prepare for the bride to prepare his home. We thank you, Father. We bless you and we honor you even in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I give love to Jesus. Oh, say Brother, shall we be seated? And oh, listen, listen to these few announcements before we leave. Pastor's office will be closed this week for consultation. If you have any issue which demands pastor's attention, see the elders. Now, what you mean, or so for office, no, home be and she said, Oh, be be a cow person, no, no, a dim come or ban home, wa, maybe an hour ban a home man or no dim could have who be be who are called a sorry penny for no honor. Pastor is bereaved, his lost sister. So the troubles are plenty. Also no for father, he linear, linear linear bar, baby. And uh, the funeral is on his knees. He's really handling everything this weekend. Uh, so let's allow him some little space. This month of April, we are reading the prophet's sermon book, Three Kinds of Believers. Now, April, 
Would you for us and power? Kaye, I did it for Ahuromi and San. You want to see the eagles? Whether they will feed on this meat or they will just put it under somewhere. He said, according to a bed, did the hour and a more so an answer. Good meat for you. You want to continue chopping your kubi and your uh, what do you call it? It's a sour. It's up to you. You back up with the kubi needs a sour. But me to me, who am I? Also for am I a three kind of believers? No, say three di no ho. How do you know? I don't think anybody uh, can have it. There's one audio. Uh, uh, with the tree, I think you you try the English. <laughs> tree, those of us who are tree people, we struggle. Some of the understanding with the tree. There be any well, audio. Okay. Are okay. uh, you hear the prophet speaking tree? <laughs> <laughs> so if you have access to that, we'll listen to interesting. Anyway, we'll listen to that. Tune in this evening at 7 p.m. and listen to Evangelist Ampa. And you may. Radio Nutu, number one FM 105.3. Remember, as has been announced, we will fast and wait on the Lord every Tuesday and Thursday as we go through this month of April. So we we'll come to church at 6 p.m. Busumi Muno, a brother near Yawada, you may be a country. I bet you coffee, no panusia, could say you may not see a bomb pie or ha. And as uh, usual, this coming Friday at 10 a.m., there will be the hour of restoration. The hour of so restoration. You are invited so to be here to, to pray. Ready, we, we are in a terrible hour. Yeah. So let us watch and be praying all the time. Yeah, we're bread, we're demon, we're mom, pie. The brethren who are on radio, on the internet, you can send your offering through the issue Momo number. I think you know it. Na mwa mwa radio so ne mwa mwa internet so no eh eh Facebook no mubet me eh de eh ma for the body no afa mumu number zero two four three four three five six seven two and those of us here don't forget to put your offering or your tithe in the offering or tithe box. Yeah, so I have a hand on you for a body and you and two to so do do no mama you and fish I did better a message that we have. Tells us that every service without an offering is not complete. So if you just live here without thinking about offering, giving something to the Lord, your service is not yet complete. So bear that in mind. Would you follow my idea? I say, assume be a for the bone count a year mudi and until so a hanoma. But my dear, I say, over bought a for the ama a radi and sana. Oh, Richard, bless you. Go home and be an eagle. A radi shrau, go fear for your body. Mama and Kai, yeah. Now, what you chair, Muno? I sorry, as I said, I yet on a yen to me and face the Cadiambano, the Pamucho, and Chermu, with me at the Abba. Last week, yeah, I am fire for a body, I de bois, I may atas, I said, no, yeah, I am fire the Ambano. Now, what you in Chermu? Last month, dear Mufamra, your budget. God bless you. I mean, Amen. Amen.